Hello from Farland. Well, I ran out of shaper sheet, but I have a fresh roll, so as soon as I get done shooting a little bit to give you some progress, I'm going to work on that. So I've built a uh, foundation now for the, uh, the old dilapidated barn, barn building. So it's gonna, that's gonna be its home there. And camper guy, I think he's gonna be over here somewhere. Somewhere where he can get access from the road. And those of you that follow me on Facebook have probably seen this shot before. Rolling hills with the farm. By the way, I'm doing something different today. I have a, a device that helps keep the camera level and I can hand hold it. So I did get my um, programming track installed permanently. I was juggling it around for quite a while, thinking maybe I would install it over here where my workbench is. But I would have to run the wires a long distance and they would have to cross the floor or go overhead. So I have decided back in the corner is a pretty innocuous place. As long as it's permanently installed, it'll be, it'll be just fine. So there we've got our uh, little... Uh, a farmer with his uh, collie, the sheep. Oh, I've got a black sheep. And uh, the goat has gotten up into the garden. I guess the farmer's uh, or the helper there is trying to figure out how to get him out of there. Sarah's out with the horses today, and I'm going to commence on the shaper sheet. I think we're about ready to go with it. Let me know what you think of this gadget. It allows me to walk around without the camera wobbling all over the place as bad as it used to. So I'll get to work on the shaper sheet and uh, maybe we get a chance to run some trains at some point.
Well, I think that about does it. I see one little spot over here that I want to plug up. I'm going to have to push this back out and uh, seal that. But for the most part, I think we about got it. So uh, I'll tend to these parts and um, you can watch some trains. How about that? I've been thinking about this since I laid the first piece of track. I was hoping to have a separate, a completely separate piece of track coming from the station, the main station, way over there, and sweeping around and coming into Farland. But I don't see that that is possible without having a bridge across the river. And I don't want to be ducking under that bridge all the time. I just, uh, I don't want to do it. So, what I think I'm going to do instead Sorry, I'm rearranging these as we speak. I'm going to come off so that if you're coming out of this, well, let me say this. I'm going to have a station 
and far more. And it's going to come off the main track. So, if you're coming in this way, and that'll be from the main station, you can come in to far more, and I'll probably have a round or a rounded, maybe not that steeply rounded, platform. Or not, not sure about that. But then when you come out, and I'll have a runaround for the locomotive over here. When you come out, you can go across and that way back to the main station. That was something that was very much lacking in the last layout. It was very awkward getting into Farmore and getting out. There was no head shunt, which I always wanted a head shunt in there. Every time I was operating, it was difficult. So I would want a head shunt here. These are second radius curves. I could probably do it a lot better than those. I just grabbed those out of my track box. I will no doubt use flex track to build it, but there's enough room to have a run around for the locomotive so it can change ends on the train and pull it out back onto the main line going the correct direction and there will be no stopping on the main line to throw switches which always bothered me by the same token the other thing I want to do is as, as you recall back behind the farm there we come off the freight line onto this and it's that would be coming around here like this but there's no way to get back off of it without backing up. So this will be the escape back off the main line onto the freight. I've been pondering this since I laid the first track. How am I going to do it? Because I don't want a bridge across. You know, I was imagining one of the scenarios was having a blind A blind siding over there at House Street just for far more. But there's no place to run the track, as it turns out. I had sketched it on the other on the layout, but in reality, there's no place to run the track. But I think I can do it here. I think it'll work. There's room for all the uh the uh, tortoise motors underneath. This one needs to go this way just a little bit more and this one needs to go that way a little bit more but all in all I think it'll work and it'll be great fun. That'll be it for today. Bye from Farland.